Now, on the, in the alleged uh, liquor policy case, the Delhi High Court will decide on the legality of CM Kejriwal's arrest. The court will also pronounce its verdict on the bail application of Kejriwal this afternoon. Remember, the enforcement directorate had arrested CM Kejriwal on the 21st of March and had said that the CM is the key conspirator in the alleged liquor policy scam. And earlier, the High Court had asked the enforcement directorate to state the valid reasons for the extension of Arvind Kejriwal's custody. Remember, today we're expecting the court to hear not only the bail application of CM Kejriwal, but also uh, pronounce its decision on the legality of CM Kejriwal's arrest. Remember, the Enforcement Directorate had earlier reiterated that it followed all of the PMLA rules while detaining Arvind Kejriwal. I have my colleague Eshwarya joining us with more details. Eshwarya, uh, today we're uh, expecting the court to decide on the legality of CM Kejriwal's arrest. That's a big question, uh, but we're also expecting it to hear uh, the bail application. Well, at around 2.30 p.m., we are expecting Delhi High Court to pronounce its decision on Arvind Kejriwal's uh, uh, application challenging his arrest. Uh, remember, it was uh, the Delhi High Court who had uh, uh, heard both the sides and reserved its order. Uh, now, today at 2.30, uh, a single judge bench will uh, be pronouncing its order. On one side, it was Abhishek Manu Singhvi appearing for uh, Mr. Kejriwal, stated that uh, this is just to... Uh, disable him from uh, the uh, upcoming elections and uh, uh, these uh, arrests are certainly illegal to which it was opposed by the enforcement directorate saying that uh, they have followed all the rules and all the procedures as far as PMLA is concerned and they have the exact money trail as to why Arvind Kejriwal is uh, the main conspirator and the kingpin in the case. Remember in the argument it was also stated by uh, the uh, enforcement directorate that they are considering Aam Aadmi Party as a company, association of people and Arvind Kejriwal being the national convener of the Aam Aadmi Party he had uh, uh, known about all the facts and figures, all the formulation and implementation about the uh, uh, now scrapped uh, Delhi excise policy. So clearly it's, uh, uh, it, it, it was an intense argument but certainly the uh, application for challenging his arrest is very crucial because if it goes into the favour of Mr. Kejriwal then uh, it would be uh, the bail application that would be heard and automatically Arvind Kejriwal will get relief. If not, then Arvind Kejriwal will have to remain in Tehran hard prison from here on. Right, Ashwarya, thank you for joining us and bringing us those details. The Delhi government versus LG face-off escalates again as Delhi LG VK Saxena has written a letter to Home Ministry alleging that Delhi ministers are refusing to attend meetings called by him. In his letter, the LG said that after Arvind Kejriwal's arrest, he had called a meeting so that routine works of the government are not hampered, but the ministers had declined his invite. He also said that this shows insensitivity and lack of seriousness. Now, the Aam Army Party has countered these uh, allegations by the, uh, uh, by the LG, saying that uh, uh, water, health, environment and forest are all transferred subjects and that the LG cannot hold meetings on these issues. I have uh, joining us Ishika with more details. Uh, Ishika, a war of words continues between the LG and uh, uh, the Aam Army Party. Uh, what has come after this particular letter has been written to the Home Ministry? between the uh, LG Secretariat and the Delhi government continues. In fact, it has intensified after a second letter has now been written by the LG Secretariat to the Union Home Ministry. In fact, in this letter, it has been mentioned that on two, uh, you know, two meetings were called by the Lieutenant Governor, but both of these meetings, the uh, ministers of the Delhi government refused to attend. Now, what, uh, uh, you know, what is mentioned in the letter is that the Lieutenant Governor had called for a meeting on 29th of March, but at that time, the ministers, and especially the health minister, Saurabh Bhardwaj, declined, uh, you know, declined to go to the meeting, saying that the agenda was not shared, and also that this meeting cannot be called without the directions of the chief minister. The, uh, the lieutenant governor then again rescheduled the meeting for 2nd of April, and at that time, not just Saurabh Bhardwaj, but also the other ministers in the Delhi government, they said, you know, that since the moral Code of Conduct is already there, such a meeting should not take place. Now, the, uh, the LG Secretariat has now questioned the attitude 
of these ministers saying that they lack seriousness when it comes to matters regarding the governance of the national capital. Here, you know, in fact, they also question, uh, you know, as to how uh, ministers refuse to uh, attend a meeting citing moral code of conduct, but then they go to the public with a supposed letter of the chief minister. Now, responding to this, the uh, the senior Amadmi party leader and also, in fact, the health minister in the Delhi government has now responded, saying that the meeting that was being called was on transferable subjects like, you know, uh, like water and other issues. This, uh, this meeting cannot be called by the lieutenant governor since it does not fall in his jurisdiction. In fact, Saurabh Bhadwaj, the health minister, has also now taken a dig at the lieutenant governor, saying if the lieutenant governor wants to run the government, he should better contest the elections. So certainly, you know, what we are seeing here, that the flashpoint between uh, the uh, LG and the, uh, and the Delhi government, it continues to intensify here in the national capital and will have to wait and watch as to how it pans out in the coming days. Over to you. Thank you, Shikha, for joining us and bringing us those updates.